Hi there and welcome to Craft Jitsu's last Embroidery Basics video. This one's all about transferring the design. This method prints directly onto the fabric. Now I've done a video on this before so I'll put a link to it here. Now don't forget the printer ink isn't terribly permanent and it's likely to change colour so if you're going to use this technique cover all of the printing with stitching. Now the second technique I'm going to show you is with dressmaker's carbon paper. Now I'm sure you've seen me use this technique before, but just for completeness I'll show you again. So put the fabric in the hoop the wrong way round for hand embroidery. I should have given it a little iron, sorry about that. As always, make sure the fabric's drum tight. Now here's the design we're going to use, quite a basic simple one to start. And we stick the carbon paper to the design, using masking tape. Don't be tempted to use sellotape because that'll leave little sticky marks all over the fabric and it'll pick up dirt so you'll always end up with these little kind of gummy strips along the fabric. And make sure your masking tape doesn't cover any parts of the design otherwise it won't transfer properly. And after I've eventually found my masking tape again, stick the whole thing down onto the fabric. And just make sure it's all nice and tight and secure and isn't going to move anywhere. And using a blunt needle or an old ballpoint pen that doesn't work anymore, just trace over the design. carefully peel off the tape and you'll see the design left below. Now this is great for accurately transferring designs but it is permanent there's no way to get rid of it so if you've gone wrong or want to change your mind tough. Now this third method I'm going to show you is to stitch around the shape. Now make sure you position it so that the warp and the weft are straight. And tack down the piece of paper. Now you can use tracing paper or tissue paper here. The tissue paper does make it slightly easier later on, but it all depends what you've got really. I'm sorry that the lighting's all gone a bit strange in this film, but uh, hopefully you'll get to see what I'm what I'm up to. Now we're going to start tacking around the edge of the design in quite small stitches. Use as many as you think you need just to make the design work. You can always look at the back of the piece to see if it's if it's coming across well. Now 
here's a little thread saving tip for you. Now I realise it doesn't quite work in this example, but if you're starting to run out of thread, you can unpick the tacking threads and use that thread to carry on with. But just use the tacking thread from the areas you've already finished, otherwise it might not might all move and not work anymore. It even already has a nice knot in the end for you. Now the next job is to tear off the paper. Now do this quite carefully in case it pulls your stitches too much. I'm being a bit rough with it here. The tissue paper makes this bit a little bit easier. I wasn't really quite thinking when I did this. When I tied off the threads, they should be outside the, the stitching area, not on the inside, otherwise they'll get in the way later on. Now I know this method takes a little bit longer, but it is reversible. And when you come to start stitching, just go along the edge of your design where the stitches are with this pen, which is an invisible pen, as the ink will disappear over time. Now you can snip these tacking stitches and then your real sewing, your embroidery, will follow the, the ink line that you've made here. But if you change your mind, it's fine because it'll just disappear over time. It's particularly useful for fine details. Any permanent lines will have to be stitched over quite thoroughly to make sure they don't show. Now I know this technique doesn't really count as transferring the design, but I thought I'd like to show you where I started sewing. So I found a book of stencils and I traced them out onto the fabric and started just filling them in with whatever stitches I wanted. I did do a lot of cross stitch first but this is where I went after that. I'm using a pencil here, it's not really ideal because the colour can come off and sort of smudge into paler colours but if you're making it quite dark it's not the end of the world. It's just a nice way to get started without having too much kit. Anyway, you get the idea of how this will come out. Now this next technique is about using an iron-on transfer pencil. Now for some reason I can't find one anywhere, so I'll just show you the techniques involved. Now when you've got your design onto paper, put it against the window and turn it over. And using your special transfer pencil, trace over the design. So you have a copy of your design in the iron-on transfer pencil on the back of your piece of paper. Place the paper transfer side down onto a piece of fabric and iron it and the design will be left on your fabric. Now this is a permanent method and it also would be best to use it on small designs because it can move the fabric underneath and create a sort of smudgy design. Now you can always trace a design directly from an iPad or a, or a phone. Just be careful that you don't press too hard uh, and follow the manufacturer's instructions because it's not my fault if it goes wrong. But I don't have a printer at the moment and it works for me perfectly. Just a bit of masking tape and the tracing paper and off you go. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions or subscribe to the channel.